I'm Jakke Verine. Uh, I work at the Jupert Institute, in, which is an institute for uh, stem cell biology. Um, I'm a group leader. I already have my own group for five years. In my lab, we try to understand how these tumors are growing and spreading throughout the body. So we always thought that you had a cancer stem cell, and this cancer stem cell is a cancer stem cell, and then can give uh, committed cells, and these committed cells stay committed cells. But what we actually show, that within a tumor, this committed cell can actually revert into a cancer stem cell. And that's of course very important, because if you now kill uh, the committed cells, the tumor will, will shrink, uh, but the tumor can regrow by the cancer stem cells. But now if we target the cancer stem cells, you would say that the, the, the tumor would actually shrink because there is no fuel for the tumor growth. But unfortunately, the, these committed cells can revert back into uh, cancer stem cells, and therefore you can actually get regrowth as well. So my research, where we're very well known for, is, is how we can actually visualize these individual cells in a living mouse. And not just showing that these cells are there, but actually see how they behave. So we can actually see how these tumor cells are growing. And for example, how these cells are moving and spreading throughout the body. And these are unique uh, techniques that, that, that we actually developed. This is a breast tumor. In uh, uh, green here is the tumor, this dark area is the healthy tissue. And if you look very carefully, you see these little worms coming out and those are the cells that escape from the primary tumor and spread throughout the body. And they are carried by the vasculature to another side. And here you see the healthy tissue and in red you see the blood. And in green are the tumor cells. And you can actually see how many tumor cells escape from the primary tumor. And they all arrive in a distant site. And now we're actually able to also visualize how these tumor cells grow out at a distant site, in this case the liver. Here you see an, an, a small metastasis of about 20 cells in the liver that are growing. And here you see again a tumor cell that escapes, illustrating again how dynamic this whole process is. We really try to spy on the, on the cancer cells. So instead of just taking a picture and see where the tumor cells are, are located, we see in life what's going on. And this is very important to actually understand how they behave. Uh, for example, if you, if you take a shopping street and you look, take a picture of it, you just see people. You don't see what's happening. However, if you take a movie, you can actually see that some people are running and you know that they probably still stole something from the shop. And you can only see that at the moment you take the movie and not the picture. And what we did is that we color coded every tumor cell with a different color. And if there's a hierarchical growth, you expect that if you hit one of these cancer stem cells, that a whole clone will actually be formed, the whole family tree will be visible. Now we can do the next step and we can really start to measure how these clones are developing. And for example, this red clone is constantly growing. Well, this uh, blue clone is first actually growing and then regressing. Well, this green clone over here is not present at day four and suddenly is present at day 6, 11 and 15. And that means that there's a committed cell that changed into a cancer stem cell and then gives a family tree. And, and that's actually the basis of, of, of this award, that we can show the family tree, so the, the, the hierarchy with the cancer stem cell, and that it's not a static, but more a dynamic process where cells can revert to the different states. And what we try now to do is actually try to identify how these tumor cells are doing that. And if we are able to find that, we can actually block it and we hope then that we can uh, uh, improve the current strategies for chemotherapy.